for the Max and I just whipped it on my leg. Y'all walked in the store and Max is the only one that came out with something. Yeah, I don't I know why they came out, so I was going with them. Did you guys rob the place? Did you smell that one? Is it still is it still in here? You couldn't have done that outside the truck? He did. He just I didn't did. leave his asshole. <laughs> it just followed me. Jeez. Files, that's all that we have. Oh, I didn't know you were recording. Well, I haven't made a video in a while, and everybody keeps asking me for one, so I figured what better day to make a video when I have the full Motley crew. Ear and Gabby went to wrap up a landscape job that they were doing at one of my customers' houses, and the lady insisted on having her own bag mulch. So when I looked at it, I told her she was short by about two to three bags. So they went and did it last week, and they were short by two to three bags. So the lady got more and now it's sitting there waiting so they just have to go throw those down and then they have to go to a restaurant that we mow and me and Billy and Ty went and trimmed all the bushes there yesterday afternoon so they got to go clean out the beds weed out the beds clean all the trash leaves everything out of the beds and then they have to mulch that entire place so they're banging that out today and I got old Maximus over here to come to work to help us retirement. because we uh, Max can't come out of retirement when he's we never going to retire. We pulled him out of the old folks' home, the manor right there in Ransville. Oh boy, that's where he was. We stopped by hey, to pick Billy, him up. if you put me there and I die, I will haunt you. <laughs> <laughs> well, guess what? I'm putting you there. Right. So at least that means that I'll still get to see you every day. Of my at least, life. at least Blake loves me. He wouldn't put me in a retirement home. That's true. Oh, I feel like finally he's old enough for me to beat him up. <laughs> right? <Yeah. laughs> Get him out here. Get him out here. I'll put you in my home. But we, uh, so we got rained out yesterday. So we got almost all of our Monday list done except for the big set of apartments in Lewis and the big set of apartments in Wilson. So we gotta do both those on top of our Tuesday list. So Max came in today to help us out. We got three standards on the trailer because the X mark is now back together. Billy got the exhaust changed out on that. And so I don't think I've updated anybody because I haven't made a video since I got back from Seattle. And while I was in Seattle, the exhaust on the X mark blew apart. I can show you guys a picture later, but uh, if you guys remember last year on the ZK when I had the brand new engine put on it and the exhaust blew apart, this one happened. Same exact thing, same exact spot. Weirdest crap I've ever seen. So $300 for a new exhaust because it's EFI and it has to have the hole for the O2 sensor. Stupid. But anyway, that's back together. And uh, I'm still working on my dump trailer. I haven't updated anybody on that, but yeah rewired the whole trailer last night and I still cannot dump the dump trailer. Um, I didn't use my dump trailer at all last year. I had my brother do jobs for me. Everything that would have required me to need the dump trailer, my brother did for me. Bill used the dump trailer a couple of times. And I think that's it. But somebody at some point dragged the whole controller all the way down the road so bad they wore half the controller away and then also didn't put the wiring harness that goes to the truck up in the pin and so it wore half that away so I had to literally cut it peel everything back splice solder every single freaking wire which I did last night then pulled every wire off the pump the battery everything in the dump trailer cleaned all those put them all back together with dielectric grease and it still won't go and I now know what it is it's one of the valves you got an up valve and down valve on the pump and one of them's just winding out I even changed the 12 volt solenoid because I thought it was that and I had another one yeah but you know nobody did it it wasn't me it wasn't me I didn't do it no nope, I wouldn't know that's what everybody says. So, I did it. Dump trailers magically freaking deteriorate wiring harnesses, so I don't know. I told you it was me. It was the night. It wasn't this guy. Dumped to it with the Fusion. Yeah, so now I have huge mulch jobs sitting on hold right now because I don't have a dump trailer. So it's going to come down to where I'm just going to fill the dump trailer. I'm going to park it on site, and they're going to have to shovel out of it until it's empty and then go fill it up and do it again, which is really going to suck because some of them jobs... You can only get like five to six yards in that dump trailer. It's not big. It's like seven by ten. But uh which has never been an issue. I just dump on site and go get more and then there's plenty of do the job. But now I'm gonna have to do that and then they're gonna have to go home for the day early, make less money, and then I'm gonna have to refill it at the end of the day, my day mowing, have to go get it, go refill it, take it back so I can keep going. 
it's just going to be a huge pain. And they have it delivered. The delivery fees are ridiculous. So, I don't know. It's just a pain in the butt. But anyway, so now we're off to boat. It's going to be 73 today. It's going to be great. It's going to be wonderful. It's going to be fun. If we have a little bit of breeze, that would be great. Yeah, I think we're It's already getting muggy. Nothing. The mandatory union break. Got the... Here it brought me Garuba Elderflower Red Bull. This stuff is good. This is the new summer edition. So we just got done mowing the silo over there. You guys probably can't see all the landscaping, but you and Gabby came here and did all the landscaping, the bushes, weeded everything out, raked everything out, and put down brand new black and red mulch. It looks superb, Tracy. Superb. <laughs> Chef's Kiss, amazing. But the people that own that restaurant also own the house that's an Airbnb. And we've always built that. And now we've always built this portion right here that I just cut with the walker. And this was all woods over here. And last year, at the end of the year, he had it all tore down. And they leveled it all. And so they said starting this week, they want us to start cutting the lot. So I cut the part that was already a little short. $13,000 mower. $20,000 more. I'm going to let Billy cut that. <laughs> I don't know what's in there. So I'm not running this walker through there. <laughs> he does not have it. I know because I was sitting here like this with my feet up and he looked at me and I'm like, <laughs> and he just started laughing. He almost fell off the bar. <laughs> but we're just, we're not trying to cut that short. I have him cutting it in transport mode actually. So he's just knocking the top off. So, well, just knocking it down actually. So it'll be. Transport mode, I believe that's five or five and a half inches of this mower. So it's like two foot right now, so knock it down to five inches, it'll look better anyway. <laughs> we'll continue on. We'll start pouring on them. Uh, one weather app says 50% rain by two o'clock. <coughs> the other app says 80% by one. So. Yeah. Clouds look pretty nice. So yeah, Billy's so getting just knocked down and then we'll get out of here. Sure. We get two standards, but we don't because, well, I haven't made a video in a while. Somebody! The exhaust blew apart on the X-Mark and I had to wait for that to come in. And since it's EFI and has to take it on two sensors, it was a $300 muffler. So I ordered that, that came in, we fought with that, the bolts wouldn't come out. We got that changed out, ran it for two days, and the bearing in the idler pulley on the deck went bad. So it allowed the belt to move and snapped the belt in like five different places. So I had to order a new belt, which I ordered a two-pack of them on Amazon, and uh, I ordered a new pulley with the new bearing, and all together came to 52 bucks, and it's all supposed to be here today. What did Billy find? A big old chunk of metal or something. <laughs> That's why I told him, mow it in transport mode. Last chance you're going to hit something hard and smack that deck up. Yeah. We don't need to lose another mower. We might have to, yeah, so that's down, so that's why we have this. And I absolutely hate that stack, so no, we all do. Nobody wants to run the stack. No. We're probably going to sell it. Um, it just cuts like crap. If it's shorter grass, it only takes a little bit off. It cuts phenomenal. It leaves a great looking cut, leaves great stripes, it's all dead too. But it just can't handle thick, heavy grass. It can't handle wet grass. It clumps everywhere. And then, Deck and try to go over it again, it won't stand it out. It just doesn't do it. All my other stacks, this one won't. Well, they, they all chalk the white grass. That's how all the stacks are. But, uh, they just, they're not meant for white grass, but at least they would clean up on the second cut. This B Rock one for some reason will not. Check the blade, it's great for that. We've done So that's, that's coming back up lower. But this old trusty steed is still running strong. We're all running this yesterday. She's a beaut. She's been cutting like a beaut. Yeah. Really might have to go over that a second time. Yeah. Really right, Billy's over there wrapping that up. I'll show you the landscaping job the girls did for me. They're off doing another one today. They've done a whole bunch. It's awesome having multiple crews this year to help me get caught up in this stuff. But anyway, so these flower beds were loaded with weeds and leaves and garbage and everything they went through cleaned everything up mulched everything all the way around and then that one over there too but came out really good and the owners are 
super happy. So that's what we got. They're good. They're really good. So I got my brother doing mulching and landscape jobs in one place. I got the girls over here. They did this one, then they've done a few more for me. And uh, us boys been out mowing. This guy. This guy! Yep. <laughs> Yo, I watched you. I know. And then it just started sliding I watched you like just drift down the hill. <laughs> oh yeah, it's on the water. Alright, hey Billy, make one pass. Make one pass down the wall all the way to the end, and I'll just walk up. Hey, guess what? Mark it down. He's the first one to get the book and he's in. There we go. That's only the only good pass that's back here. He's just been buried already. Oh yeah, that's where my stuff all Yeah, Billy. So we just got back to the shop. We got rained out, but we only have one, two, three properties we didn't do. We made sure we went and hit all of our big ones, the churches, the old folk center, all that stuff. Um, so I got an alert that my parts came in for the X mark, and the new pulley came in, so we just changed that out, but the belt didn't show up. I ordered a two-pack of belts. Now I do have the old... Toro grandstand deck right there and I could have just pulled the pulley off that and I could just take the belt off that as well because the decks are pretty much identical but I'm leaving that deck as is because it's never going back on the grandstand but I I know a couple people that have Toro grandstands and that deck's like perfect just dirty but it's perfect so I'll probably I'm probably just gonna sell that deck to one of them monkeys so I ran that all day Billy ran that had to pull the battery out of this to put it in the Toro because it's up at the apartment complexes to, for moving the other mulch trailer like that one there. Yeah, and I have four bald tires here on rims because I ordered four brand new tires. Uh, I've been eating through these tires. Uh, I didn't really pay much attention when I ordered them and they're six ply. So I ordered 10 ply tires now. Um, and I got to drop them off to my buddy's shop. Well, my dealer, actually, where I get my mowers. And uh, they're going to swap them for me Monday morning. Because oh. I don't have a tire machine. I should. I don't know why I don't, but I don't. So, yeah, this thing will go back together. Uh, well, it is back together. It's ready to go now. I just need to get the, uh, get the belt on it. So the two-pack of belts didn't. It says it came in today, but... I just uh, called here at home and had her bring me over the parts that came in today, and she brought me the pulley. She said no belts showed up, so I got to figure out what the deal is with that. But that'll be good to go. So tomorrow we got mulch to do, more mulch to do with the apartments. The girls have been banging out landscape jobs for me like crazy. Uh, my brother's, uh, he's done a couple for me, a couple cleanups and bush trimming, and then he started to mulch our one set of apartment complexes. So. Me and Max and Ira are going to go and knock that out tomorrow. And Max's son, while Billy and Ty finish up the little bit of mowing that there's left to do, Billy has to do his set of apartment complexes. And then we have, uh, what are you monkeys doing? He's throwing my jeans at <laughs> His jean rag. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's about time for an oil change on this side. Yeah. Well, I, time for an oil change means... Ah, there's no oil on here. I just want my 100 back together, Billy. That's I all I want. Why is this thing all bent That's up? That's from when me and you were riding out in the stone quarry, and we had to pull back because the chain snapped. 
and we hooked the freaking thing up to Jamin's banshee. Remember? And then you guys pulled in it. Freaking bent that thing? No. I don't remember that happening at all. I don't remember Jamin ever pulling me with his banshee with this. I remember pulling Noah's four wheeler and ripping the whole front end off it. But I don't ever remember him pulling this bike with the banshee. Ever. As a matter of fact, I've never had anybody. I've never broke down on this bike, ever. Not once. That would have been a you thing. It never is. So, anyway. All these toys, they all need to go, in my opinion. I'm going to keep Noah's four wheeler. I'm keeping my 110, and I'm keeping my 100. Other than that, they all need to go. Every freaking one of them. And this sucker's gone. Every one of them. And that needs to go, too. Eventually. I think Billy's, Billy's going to clean that up. He finally fixed it, got it back running. And I think, oh, yeah, he's got to fix his uh, clutch cable now because that broke. But he ordered one, <laughs> and he's waiting for it to come in. But our sales department at our dealer is awesome. One of the head salesmen is one of my really good friends. Their parts department and their service department is nothing short of shit. It's absolute trash. Absolutely trash. You order parts, it takes weeks to get in. When they do come in, they don't call you and tell you they're in. You gotta stay on them. It's just a nightmare. I don't know. So, yeah. Yeah, I'm just gonna the old tube of the U. Tube of the U. Tube of the U. Tube of the U. Well, Randy's dad mowed. Anthony mowed the lawn. He's not stuck in the ditch, though. No, he was out there mowing the other day with a beer in his hand. Uh, so. Feel wobbly pops don't hurt. Feel fuzzy pops. Yeah, except fuzzy for last waters. year when he got drunk and ran the mower into that Ran telephone pole the out there. Electrical box too. Oh yeah, and then he just left it there. Got off it, grabbed his beer, and walked Show into the house. Fox body and probably what, like 2010? Yeah, uh, not even. It's early 2000s. That one. Early 2000s. I was thinking, I'll take Fox, Fox body any day though. Nothing beats that 50. What was it? What are they? Five, manual? 5.0. Five oh. Well, the, the you five could get them in auto. No, uh, five speeds. You could get them automatic, but that was kind of pointless. That's pointless. I want that five speed. I'd be dropping gears and passing. I don't know what you're saying. I don't know what you're saying. Yeah. You too. <laughs> we drinking beers, dropping gears, shooting deer, and disappeared. I got three speeds. Here, there, and gone, son. I disappear like Casper the Friendly Ghost. <laughs> Never see me again. Especially if I go out there in the field. Tyler, how far do you think Ford would make it out there before it breaks down? Uh, they make it farther than a Dodge. Yeah. Seven feet off the ditch. As soon as the Dodge touches that grass, because you know they're pavement princesses, as soon as it touches that grass, transmission's falling out right there. That sucker's done for. I tell you what, old son. She ain't making it about a quarter mile down the road. Transmission's falling out. Oil pan's falling out. Something's falling out. See, I've never understood that guy's driveway. Why the hell would you have like a yeah. little ditch in the middle of your driveway? It's like, out. It's flooded out every time it rains. Like you can't put, even cross it. Put some it. pipe in there and then put some rocks over it. Let that good, uh, what's it called? Crush stone or something like that? Crush and run. Crush and run. Yeah, that stuff's great. You run over it a couple of times with a big heavy truck. Pack it right in there. Pack it right in Pack there. Pack it right in there. Nice, Dude, nice. I tell you what, me and Joey went back there riding the one time. We were all the way back there in the woods. Me and Joey almost got stuck. That was a horrible time. <laughs> I put the back of my four wheeler up in front of Joey's four wheeler and pushed him right out of there. Surprised I did with those horrible tires. You definitely need new tires for your four wheeler. No. I think they put I better. I don't need new tires after the, after my last few payments and clean her up. Get that clutch lever on there. Riding her. Hopefully don't break her this time. You break ride everything you ride, times. Billy. Yeah, ride it a few more times, and then... No, I didn't break the 85. I sunk it, okay? You and then I got it your fixed. dirt bike into a submarine. I fixed it. I fixed it, didn't I? And she ran great until she started smoking out the bottom of the engine. <laughs> yeah. Hey, the guy, the, the kid that came and got it, he's like, does it run? I go, ah, here and there sometimes. I was like, you can get it to run if you're pulling it with, like, a four-wheeler or something. It'll fire up. But it doesn't stay running. Yeah, what and happened last time you and Noah did that? Yeah, that time I barrel rolled it, flipped it over, had a concussion for about a week, busted open my hands, 
my elbow in a few spots. But then the kid came to get it. He grabs the, the kickstart, pushes it down once, and he goes, good enough for me. Loads the puppy. We load the puppy in the bed of his truck, and off he went. Never saw that kid ever again. Never saw the bike. That was a great bike, though. 67 miles an hour down the road. Ooh, baby. You hit a bug, though. Mm. Them bugs tinging off your chest like a bunch of BBs. I'm talking steel BBs, not plastic BBs. I'm, them sons of guns, them damn hurt now. Yeah. I'll tell you what. <laughs> Dang going, damn it. Damn suckers. Damn suckers will give you a hurt. You get home, it looks like somebody shot you with one. Farmer shot you with a salt gun. One pepper gun. This is all day, every day. Has like put it down like there. Shot. Put it down there in the comments. How many of you guys would like to be stuck in a truck riding around with Billy all day? Because this is Billy <laughs> every day, all day. And when he's tired, it's ten times worse. That's ADHD ten ADHD times worse. Is. Yeah, he's ADHD and OCD, so everything has yeah. to be perfect, but only for a minute. Straight, son. 